हर घट तक है तेरी कहानी पग पग प्यारे दंगल 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 सूरज तेरा चढ़ता ढलता घर दिश में करते हैं तारे दंगल 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 ग्रेट मॉर्निंग दोस्तों ग्रेट मॉर्निंग सी एफ ए लेवल वन एज वी आर ऑल अवेयर ऑफ दैट देर आर टेन सब्जेक्ट इन सी एफ ए लेवल वन देर आर देर आर एटीन स्टडी सेशन देर आर देर आर एटीन स्टडी सेशन इन टोटल देर आर एटीन स्टडी सेशन एंड फिफ्टी एट रीडिंग्स and today we'll be going to start with the last subject the last reading the last session that is study session 18 and 58th reading and the name of that reading is alternative investments alternative investments one of the most important reading and one of the most scoring subject as there are 10 subjects in this cfl level 1 and out of these 10 subjects the last two subjects that is derivatives and alternative investments and alternative investments these two subjects have a lower have a lesser weightage of marks as compared to first eight subjects that is first subject is ethics dharma dharma lord krishna says to arjun that i will be on dharma i will i will remain with the person who will be ethical to so ethics quant quant financial reporting financial reporting economics 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 so these are the four subjects which are very important and the institute has given 10% to 20% of weightage to these four subjects and the next four is of middle category i will say that is corporate finance portfolio management equity and fixed income so this is category a this is category b and this is category c so you have heard of abc analysis category a category b category c so now we are doing a chapter from category c that chapter is named as that subject is named as alternative investments so please take out your registers my friends we will be starting with a new subject and a subject with only one reading so i think in this alternative investments because the percentage is 4% to 5% only so in the morning session in the morning session and in the afternoon session it means from 9 to 12 session and 2 to 5 session you will be getting five questions in this session and five questions in this session it means in total 10 questions will be there and out of that you have to attempt at least seven you have to attempt 10 but seven questions should be correct one because then only you can get 70% marks which is our target and when when and the crux is when the syllabus is small it is very difficult to be on the higher top quartile so you have to do some what more hard work in alternative investments and there is only one reading in this the syllabus is very lengthy but it is easy you can easily do within 4 to 5 months all the 10 subjects so we will be going to start with the last subject the last subject the last reading the last study session and it is named as alternative investments you must have heard of practice makes the practice makes the women and men 
both perfect practice makes the practice makes the men and women both perfect so whether you are from commerce background or non commerce whether you are an engineer or an mba and then doing cfa it hardly matters what matters is the most is your determination and the passion which you have in 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 qualifying this cfa level 1 2 and 3 so let us start with that passion with that that burning desire in your mind that desire to be a charter holder to be a chartered financial analyst for that you have to at least follow some tips or 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 how to become that you know be the winner how to be a winner for becoming a winner there are some steps which are important which which i already which i have already told you in last nine subjects what are the steps the step number 1 is you should you should write down all the class notes and those class notes should be hand written all class notes should be hand written mind it i am again repeating should be hand written with your hands because it is a technique it is a subconscious mind technique when you listen to me and along with that you write it down it will be it will be more deeper in your mind it will go more deeper in your mind and you will understand the concepts and in the examination they generally ask you questions from the concepts second point second step it means you all will be preparing class notes that is self notes that is handed and notes in a separate register no copies no diaries no notepads are allowed because in those registers those thick one registers we will be highlighting something second is you have to use highlighters i will tell you how to use these highlighters this technique is named as highlighter technique this technique is named as highlighter technique you have to highlight the important words the important terminology the important formulas then it will automatically enter in your mind at the time of revision step number 3 and this step is specially for full time students who are doing who are devoting their full time for cfa level 1 you should read you should study or you should read from cfa curriculum i know it has long pages with smaller fonts but but there is no option for that what you can convert it that you can make a bigger font by converting into pdf and then you, you can get it that hard copy print outs but you have to read it and you have to highlight the important words in case you are a full time it means at least 5 to 6 months will be required to 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 prepare cfa level 1 thoroughly and then this is for full timers full time students step number 4 will be for part timers they can refer quiz or some additional or any other additional source material they have but i have seen squizer i think if part time students can refer the whole study of squizer along with the concept checkers plus practical problems of curriculum it will be okay for them step number 5 along with these institute has started cfa institute has started a new learning system of practice problems of practice problems of mock test these are other than curriculum so if you refer this plus a sincere effort i think i think i think you must have heard of god helps those who helps themselves so you have to firstly help to you or own and then god will help you so let us start with alternative investments please take out your registers please and please write down alter native investments now the methodology in these classes as we have we, we did in last nine subjects is or will be 
same i will be following the same methodology firstly i will be telling you some story and within that story all the logics all the concepts all the points are being discussed automatically because i have created a story for that second is then you have to write down the class notes i have prepared i have prepared some handwritten slides so that is class notes or i can say hand written slides specifically i have prepared hand written because then only you will write it down and then we will discuss some ppts i have prepared on that topic some powerpoint presentations we will also see curriculum so let us start with the concept the meaning of alternative investments please stick straight your spinal cord should be straight because the life energy will flow properly and you will not feel slippery let us start let us open the registers and listen to my story my story starts from here i can say cfa level 1 cfa level 1 which consists of 10 subjects cfa level 1 which consists of 10 subjects CFA level one, which consists of ten subjects, I can divide it into four parts. I have started my story. Please listen to my story. What I am telling to you, I am creating. I I want to have a a a a, a helicopter pad firstly, and then only you can understand what is the meaning of alternative. I am not coming directly to alternative investments. What I am telling is that I can divide CFA level one. course material or 10 subjects into four parts part 1 part 2 <coughs> part 3 and part 4 part 1 is tools we will be using some tools in this and with the help of those tools and with the help of those tools a analyst will be investing will be advising for investment so we will be having types of investments second will be we will be having types of investments and after investing in the assets we will see there are two types of investments traditional investments and alternative investments we will be coming to that point third is portfolio management the third will be portfolio management and the fourth and the fourth is ethics the last is ethics it means i can divide my 10 subjects into four parts tools in tools four points will be covered or four subjects will be covered one is one is quant quantitative techniques quantitative methods in which we have already discussed mean median measures of center tendency measures of dispersion skewness kurtosis sampling normal distribution log distribution t test chi square all those are tools with the help of which we can decide which is the best allocated asset or where to invest when to invest how much to invest which is the best analysis so with the help of those tools i can easily decide which type of investment is better for which type of investor second tool is financial reporting it means a cfa a, 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 a charter holder must be aware of income statement ifrs us gaps us gaps inventory valuation plant property equipment depreciation methods of depreciation what is the meaning of what is the meaning of intangible assets all that is covered in financial reporting and that is a tool and the third is economics i will say economics is also a tool because i should be aware of micro macro gdp ndp national income personal income then only i can decide which is the best type of investment if i am aware of monopoly what is the meaning of monopoly what is the meaning of perfect competition what is the meaning of demand function how demand function is related i can analyze it better and the fourth tool is and the fourth tool is corporate finance 
corporate finance, working capital, cost of capital, leverages, corporate governance, all that is covered in tool number one. So I have divided whole CFA curriculum in four categories. Category one is tools. There are four tools. After this, we will be switching to category number two. We will be switching to category number two, which is types of investments. Types of investments can be divided into two parts, traditional investments and, 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 and alternative investments. Please state straight. I repeat, straight, you have to sit straight and drink some water along with that. Please write it down some notes. No doubt I will be giving you the class PPTs. No doubt I will be, I will, we will be writing something other than that also. But please write it down also this because it will help to understand the concepts. So, so types of investments can be of two types, traditional and modern. When I say modern, I will say it is an alternative investment. Traditional, traditional can be divided into three parts, equity, fixed income and derivatives. And alternative investments is a new part which we will be doing alternative investments, hedge funds, private equity, commodities, real estate, farmland, timberland, all that, gold, bullion, coins, paintings, that will be covered in alternative investments. And the third part is portfolio management. So it is on the sequence basis. Firstly, with the help of tools, we will decide which is the best asset allocation. And within that, security selection. And that is investments. And after doing investments, an analyst has to find out whether the portfolio he has created is optimum, whether there is a need need in that portfolio to rebalance or whether some securities are doing better or not better as for the expectations and after portfolio management the last part is ethics dharma whether you are doing tools or types of investments or portfolio management it must be followed with ethics ethical standards so first point which I have told you is that 10 subjects can be divided into four categories. Now, the point is, the point is, we will be, I will be showing you the second point. Now, first point you have already written, there are four categories and I have told you how many percentage, marks and etc. and all that. Second point is, Supposingly, Mr. Ramlal, a person is sitting on a, a person is sitting on a portfolio of 100 million USDs. A person is sitting on a 100 million USD portfolio. The, the point is, in the long run, as per the different studies, it has, it has been evaluated, it has been derived, discovered that it is the asset allocation which is more important as compared to security selection. It means in which asset class you are investing that plays an important role as compared to the type of security in which you are investing. If a person is sitting on a portfolio of 100 million USD so I will say the type of investment A will be equity. I am just assuming equity 50 million dollars USD. Fixed income, fixed income, fixed income, fixed income, 30 million dollars USD, 30 million USD and the C category. Category C. You even it has been followed by our parents also. We also follow this type of investment. We do not 100% invest in equity or in fixed income. Along with that, we also invest in alternative investments. Alternative investment is C. So 
it be it implies investments can be of three parts the first is traditional can be divided into two categories please write it down don't sit idle don't just listen to it please write it down investments can be of two types one is traditional investments one is traditional investments and second is second is alternative investments when i say traditional i can write down three parts in this one is equity the second is fixed income and the third is derivatives and i am including derivatives in, in investment for a time being and next is alternative investments the balancing part is alternative investments now in this alternative investments there are different parts there are different examples there are different questions which should crop up in your mind what is the meaning of alternative investments what are the examples of alternative investments what are the features of alternative investments how alternative investments and traditional investments are different what are the basic characteristics of alternative investments what are the risk characteristics whether they are risky or not what is the time horizon for alternative investments and and whether they are liquid or illiquid because all questions will be framed on these concepts only so you have to listen to my story very carefully because in that story i have covered all the points the third point is the questions which should crop up in your mind is what are the examples of alternative investments what is the meaning what are the liquid structures so let us write down some slides which i have already prepared for you people please write it down first point is first point is point number 1 is great morning cfa level 1 study session 18 reading 58 so now fair i have prepared hand written slides for you so that you can easily understand it after 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 listening to my story you can write down these slides and i have prepared i have prepared before taking the class because it will save time because if i write down now it will take more time so please write it down quickly cfa level 1 study session 18 reading 58 and the subject is alternative investments we will be discussing seven seven learning outcomes there are seven examples in the curriculum there are 14 14 14 practical problems and 11 concept checkers and then along with that practical problems from the side and walk test so please write down first point this is my hand written slide number 1 alternative investments chapter subject 10 reading 58 study session 18 lecture 1 lecture 1 lecture 1 please write it down CFA level one syllabus constitutes of eighteen study sessions and fifty-eight readings, which can be divided into four parts. Very logical four parts. So I have divided all those ten subjects into four parts. All eighteen sessions into four parts. Part one. is tools so there are four tools we will discuss please prepare the table as it is as i have prepared you have to prepare it part 1 four tools part 2 four tools part 3 one tool part 4 one tool so there are four parts in this part 1 tools part 2 classes of investments part 3 portfolio management part 4 ethics now there are four tools quantitative methods is a tool correlation is a tool mean is a tool sampling is a tool t test is a tool z test is a tool that we have already covered in quant second tool is economics the third tool is financial reporting and the fourth tool is corporate finance corporate finance 
with the help of these tools we will analyze which is the best investment which is the best time to invest where to invest how much to invest when to invest when to buy when to sell all those categories all those analysis part will be covered in tools heading tools category after this tools the second will be the second is classes of investments so as i have already told you there are two classes traditional and alternative within traditional we will be covering with equity fixed income and derivatives and alternative is other than traditional so please write it down equity fixed income derivatives and alternative investments part 3 is portfolio management it means whether it is effective and efficient utilization of the funds whether the funds are effectively and efficiently being managed with the objective of maximizing return with minimum return with minimum risk or with minimizing risk with the given return that we have covered in portfolio management and the last category is ethics ethics dharma dharma so i suppose i i i i i suppose that you must have written this you know first point first slide please write down second slide of mine by bhupesh anand chartered accountant bhupesh anand investments can be of two types traditional and bond traditional can be divided into three parts please prepare the same flow chart which i have prepared it equity fixed income and derivatives and the next part is alternative the next type of investment is alternative and i have i have prepared signs of question mark question mark question mark question mark because there must be some questions which should crop up in your mind so that's why i have prepared question mark and that answers of these question marks i have written in point number 3 please sit straight examples of alternative investments examples of alternative investments pooled investments hedge funds or mutual funds private equity real estate commodities please write it down please write it down please write it down examples of alternative investments i can say hedge funds very very important please put five stars in this hedge funds we will see what is the meaning of hedge funds whether whether hedge means to cover whether the same objective is to cover the risk of these hedge funds what are the strategies what are the what are the what are the call strategies short strategies put strategies we will see to it private equity venture capital angel capital mezzanine finance base capital seed assistance real estate what types of real estates are there how many categories residential property commercial property farm house all that commodities these are the examples which we will be covering in reading number 58 paintings mona lisa Mona Lisa painting or like that? I have just gave given the name of Mona Lisa. Coins, stamps, bullions. So please, after third point, you have to write down fourth point. Marks allocation as per CFA Institute. I have just told you five percent weightage is there. Morning session five questions, evening afternoon session five questions, total ten questions, and to get seventy percent marks, you should have seven questions correct. ठीक है ओके सो इट इज गुड टू मूव इट इज गुड टू मूव नाउ यू हैव रिटन दैट प्लीज राइट इट डाउन फोर्थ पॉइंट एंड प्लीज स्ट्रिक्ट स्ट्रेट कैन आई मूव सो प्लीज राइट डाउन फिफ्थ पॉइंट द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच शुड क्रॉप अप इन योर माइंड one student is saying that there are no questions which are being wrong no problem no problem but these questions are there which normally a person has the questions which should crop up in your mind whether alternative investments are liquid or illiquid what is the investment origin up to which time period they are invested 
whether alternative investments are risky or less risky whether investments are liquid or illiquid investment horizon time period and whether they are risky or less risky and in last i have written jo jeeta wo sikandar the person who wins is named as sikandar other than that are named as monkeys bandar monkeys so for becoming sikandar what do you have to do you have to write down each and every point which i am writing which i have prepared in my slides hand written class notes read cfa curriculum for full time students read squizer notes for part time students we will be doing practical problems in the class concept checkers we will be doing in the this recorded lectures and along with that we will be doing with practical problems and mock tests along with that sir i have prepared something something for you some sessions these are the seven eight outcomes which i have divided which i will be doing with you alternative investments introduction alternative investments examples hedge funds private equity real estate commodities management investments examples so in the next lecture we will be doing with what is a comparison between traditional investments and alternative investments hope hope i have given you a brief idea what is the meaning of alternative investments so we will be starting with this in the next lecture be happy be happy be happy be happy be jolly be jolly be jolly and be cheerful be cheerful i am giving the command to your subconscious mind be happy be jolly be cheerful be happy be happy be happy be jolly be jolly be cheerful be cheerful so we will be meeting in the next lecture number 2 so this is the end of lecture number 1 bye bye we will meet again